To run the MIS Sync Wizard, click on Import slash Sync and then MIS Sync Wizard. You'll then be asked to choose a login format for your staff and pupils. Please note that if you do not have work email contact in your MISs, you need to tick this box and this will then pull through the primary email contact for your staff members. Once you've reviewed everything, click Next. You'll then be asked to choose a password format for each year group. We recommend selecting either the picture pin or the two digit picture pin. We have several different options for you to choose from. Once you've selected the password option you like, click Next. You'll then be asked to map your year groups. The year groups in Too Simple need to be the same as they would be in your MIS. If anything says unmapped, please change this to the correct year group that the class should be in your MIS. Once reviewed, click Next. You'll then be asked to choose any subject groups you want to pull onto the system. Not all schools will have this option and you can leave it blank. At the end of the sync, you'll be told how many pupils have been updated, created or deleted. Same for your staff and your classes. You can see who's been updated by clicking the green arrow. Once you've reviewed all of the data, you can click finish. You then export and print logins or click close. You'll then be presented with the last update from your MIS. You can see when it was last done, who the MIS provider is and when the wizard was run. You can also see who was updated by clicking the drop down arrow next to the number. This has been a video on how to run the MIS Sync Wizard. If you have any questions or need any support, please contact support at twosimple.com.